Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make the sugar jar with lid project for Ceramics One. I'm going to break this video up into three different videos. First, I'm going to pull a cylinder. Then in the second video, I'm going to demonstrate how to alter the form to make a belly and a shoulder and how to make your gallery. And then the last video, I'll show you how to do the lid. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put this one aside for now and make the cylinder. Okay, to get started, make sure that you've got your clay ready and wedged up like you're supposed to so there's no air bubbles. Seal your clay to the wheel head and then center using our coning and compressing method that we've talked about many times. Now this should be a review for you, but as you cone and compress, you're moving the clay so that you have even clay particles and no bubbles. So again, you're coning, you're pressing this way in and this way in and pressing in and down to lift the clay up. The clay should rise on its own because it has nowhere else to go and you're following it up with your hands to make the cone and you don't want a volcano at the top. It should be a nice point. And you're compressing left hand on the top, compressing the clay down, moving the clay that was at the top down around the edges, moving it down and all the way back down to the wheel head so that it's centered all the way through from the top all the way down to the bottom. One more time. Now, once you get done centering, make sure you slow your wheel down ever so slightly so that you're work isn't going too fast. Now you're gonna open, okay? We're making a cylinder form, so make sure that when you open, you are pressing down right in the center. If you do it with your thumbs or your fingers or however you're gonna do it, make sure that you hold your clay on center as you press down. You should press down till you're about a quarter of an inch away from the wheel head. Remember, if you don't have a good feeling of that, you can use your pin tool, turn the wheel off, check it with your finger, and it should be about that deep, all right? Once you have uh, opened all the way, then you're gonna create the floor. Remember, hook your finger and gently pull towards you. And I would say you should pull towards you till you've got about two to, yeah, about two inches wide so that you have a reasonable floor to start with. Now, once you've finished your floor, you're going to compress the clay, pulling the clay back from the outside edge into the center, pressing down so that you're smushing those little clay particles back together and flattening the floor so it's all nice and even. Okay, once you're done compressing your floor, you're going to compress the rim and kind of try to get this shape more into a volcano shape and nice and even. Now that you've got your rim compressed, you're ready to start pulling. We're gonna make three pulls. The goal of pulling is to get all the clay out of the bottom and to keep your rim straight and tidy. Okay, so here's my first pull. I'm gonna press in underneath, grab it with my inside finger, and gently pull that clay up to the top. There's my first pull. Now I'm gonna pull or now I'm going to compress the rim and it's really important for this assignment to be compressing the rim. We're going to make what's called a gallery which is the inset bevel that holds the lid in place and you really want to make sure that your rim is compressed and that you've got actually a little extra thickness on your rim. Okay? I just slowed my wheel down a little bit more. I'm going to make my second pull pressing in underneath and lifting the clay up so that we've got a nice cylinder. Now, I'm gonna compress the clay one more time. Now, at this point, you've got your cylinder going and you've got about one more pull left. All right, I'm gonna pull a little bit more clay out. I'm gonna leave just a little bit in underneath. So here's my final pull. Pushing in to get the leftover clay out of the bottom. 
pulling that up. And now here I'm going to stop pulling. Right there. Before the rim. Please excuse the bell. Um, now I've got this rim here. I'm going to compress it and make sure that it's even. And this is where I would start or stop this video. Okay? This is where we've finished pulling our cylinder. Now we're going to start the second part of the video, which is the gallery and the shaping.